hey y'all it's cassidy welcome back to my channel if you if you're og welcome to my channel if you're new i post videos on filmmaking content creation as well as building your brand so if that's stuff that interests you make sure to subscribe turn on notifications to be notified whenever i post follow me on the ig gram and let's get it started all right so if you guys were not aware i posted a video back in may of a series that i'm producing called creating a web series and this is episode one of creating a web series if you kind of want a backstory on what this series is going to be about then definitely go check out that video episode one for creating a web series is all about the concept and idea of whatever series you're creating every series every show every movie every book every play it all comes from an idea so whether you already have an idea that you just want to bring into fruition or if you're trying to find an idea but you know you want to create something then this is the video for you so first i'm going to tell you guys how i specifically came up with the idea for top five my web series that i produced and then i'm going to break down how you can establish the idea of your web series as well as build upon the idea that you may already have if you watched my last video i did speak about how the first thing that kind of got me interested in making top five was hearing that my sister was watching gossip girl and i was watching gossip girl when i was her age and i watched gossip girl like three times around and i watched it over again with her during quarantine um so i was like you know what i kind of want to make a series similar to this um so it was also very inspired by a painting um by nicole kobe um it was a painting of five girls and so that's kind of where the concept of top five came about again if you guys want to check out the web series or get an overview of what the web series is about you can check out my last video i'll link it below or you can check out the series itself i'll also link that below so the idea kind of more from just the tv shows that i was watching when i was younger the tv shows that i was interested in seeing other people watch those shows and seeing okay it has an actual audience and then also this piece of artwork that i saw kind of merged together the idea of top five so when it comes to establishing or growing your idea, I'm going to give you guys kind of five steps that you can follow to really break down and get your grasp, your concept or idea um, for your series or whatever you're producing. The first big thing is going to be finding inspiration. Of course, you can find inspiration from maybe a book you're reading, a movie you really like, a TV show. You can find it from some artwork. You can find it from music. A lot of times I'll listen to a song and I can imagine a whole scene to that song. Um, you can also find it from a location. So maybe everything in your film or web series is based off a certain location that you saw and you're like, oh, what if like there was this cool internet cafe that all these millennials hung out at and yeah, then it's based out of a location or you can be inspired by a character, maybe a person you know in real life, a person you saw in real life, a character you dreamt up in your dreams and then write it based off of them. Or lastly, you can be inspired by a situation so maybe it's not a person or a location at all it's a situation that you witnessed or that you heard of um, or saw in the news and you want to create a series based off that situation um, so you can either kind of look for inspiration if you're really trying to push out an idea or inspiration can naturally hit you one day um, but those are all different ways that i think are great ways to find inspiration so you know put on some headphones take a walk around stay six feet away from other people and get you some inspiration so once you guys find the inspiration for your film the next thing i would suggest is just to free write so like literally get your laptop your phone and notes your a notebook or something and just literally write everything you can think of about this idea that's a big thing i do i always invest in a notebook for specifically for a film i'll have a notebook top five i had a binder specifically for it i'll even have like a google drive folder and i'll just any ideas that i think of that came from the inspiration that i gathered then i'll just jot down every idea and maybe an idea that i never ever use again that i look back at and i'm like why was i thinking of that or maybe an amazing idea that triggers more ideas and kicks off the web series so once you guys have found this inspiration to actually write about something and you guys have spent a few time a few minutes or a few hours or a few days or a few weeks months years <laughs> free writing next you really want to establish who the characters are going to be 
in um the series that you're going to create so like i said me i was really inspired by a painting and that painting led me to have five main characters so really think of based off of what you wrote and what inspired you who your show is going to be about is it going to have one main character and then once you kind of get, get an idea of who your show is about then really just write down like a biography about them i think i would have like half pages of like biographies for all my characters for top five in my binder describe your characters as best you can um if you saw my day in the life vlog that i was watching i was reading screenplay by sid field so of course now on my next screenplay that i'm working on it's like some in-depth in-depth character descriptions i would say if you're doing a web series you know you don't have to be crazy in depth you know you're really just trying to get it launched off the ground but i would say at least get a, a good bio for all your characters so that when you are getting actors they do understand the role of the character that they're playing once you guys have established who your characters are the next important thing is to establish the action that is taking place within this idea this concept that you have so what exactly is the situation that your characters are going through maybe you based your um idea off of the situation so you're really thinking about the characters are going through the situation first but what situation what action what is steering the story what's the situation in episode one two three four five six seven and eight what's that what's the situation for the whole season one if i'm writing a series i'll go ahead and plan in my head how many episodes are going to be in season one i'll write down everything that i want to happen in season one and then i'll write down episode one and I'll write down episode eight if I want it to be eight episodes. And I'll write down what happens in one, what happens in eight. And then I have to organize everything that happens in between into episodes two to seven. So really know how everything's going to end. That's going to be very important to write the beginning. You have to know how it ends. So think of how the season is going to end and how it's going to begin. And then what steps it's going to take to get there. And those are your episodes have your concept your idea you have some free writing ideas you've established your characters you've established your situation now you need to establish your location as to where these characters are what's happening it can be the country city state this is happening if that's going to impact it if it's happening at a school what school is it happening at but establish what the primary location is for your series so you can kind of get an idea of the budget that is going to have to take place um, the amount of location scouting all that good stuff we're talking about in future episodes definitely have a gauge of where this location the location that this is taking place based off the idea or concept so once you guys know who this story is about what this person is going through and where they're going through whatever they're going through then you pretty much have the bones to get into your screenplay writing so it exciting so episode two will be talk about everything about script writing i'll break down kind of how i wrote the top five scripts and then we'll get you guys working in script writing so go ahead get your concept your idea down you guys have a week before we hop into script writing next week thank you guys so much for watching make sure to subscribe turn on notifications to be notified when i drop the next episode show love like this video if you love it bye